And that was Poison the Well by Modest Mouse. It's your boy Y3Z for Revolution 917. I hope you all enjoyed the co-hosting skills show and show whatever that was Decaffeinated Fibster and Jelly Belly. I'm sure you've listened to it because I honestly didn't know it was going on. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about WrestleMania that happened last week. WrestleMania 35 to be exact. 35 years of WrestleMania is now here and this year's has come and is now gone. I can't wait for next year because that show was spectacular. It was awesome. The matches, the moments, the moves, the fireworks. It was all miraculous. Of course, the Cruiserweights stole the show like they always do. 205 Live. The Doctor of Thugonomics, John Cena, making a comeback. Always spitting rhymes like he always does. And this is like the first WrestleMania I can remember that didn't have The Undertaker make any appearance or do anything whatsoever. Ah, isn't that weird? This is just great. It's great. Of course, Kofi Kingston becoming the first African American to win the WWE Championship. Long time coming, 11 years for him. That was amazing as well. Great and awesome match between him and Daniel Bryan. Seth Rollins winning the Universal title. In like, how long is that match? A minute? Three minutes? Ah, it was all great. Yo, yeah, boy. Why? 3Z for Revolution I was reminding you that nothing is more important on this show right now than WrestleMania. <laughs> Keep it too sweet. And that was Cumberland Gap by Jason Isbell and the 400 unit. But I don't care. It is now time for the facts of life. Or in this case, the a fact of life. With your boy, a very serious Y3Z. And we're on our 50th fact of life. So why not have the fact of life number 50 be about your boy? Let me tell you a little something. If there's one thing you need to know about me, if there's one thing anybody needs to know about me, it is that I am not to be taken lightly. I am not to be underestimated with. I am not to be played with. I'm not to be made a fool of. I am someone you should take very seriously. I'm not the most intelligent person in the world. My smarts is more of in the streets. Now I know I can be a little loud and somewhat ignorant. And other times I can be just downright stupid, but it is what it is and you get what you get. Nowadays, I'm having people tell me that they either want me gone to leave the school or just go somewhere else and not let them see me again. That's fine. That is totally fine. People hating on me like that just fuels me. It means I have more people to prove wrong. I know for a fact that once I become a pro wrestler make all the money in the world, they're gonna be sorry that they ever started hating on me. They're gonna be sorry that they felt like I made them uncomfortable. They're gonna be sorry that they, I left them in their lives. It's all God's plan. Things like this happening in my life right now, it's all part of God's plan of when I become successful in the future and they're just sitting at home on their couch, getting fat, eating their Cheetos or whatever it is people do when they, lose everything or just don't want to move or whatever i don't care i don't care what you do don't don't try to like text me after like 10 years later saying you haven't texted me in a while no i'm not playing that game i'm just gonna be me i'm just gonna be who i want to be and that is why 3z for revolution 917 i am the top one percent on this station i am the best no disc jockey is better than me i'm the one and only man on this campus i'm the best western kentucky has to offer and that is undisputed and if you don't believe me try me i'll be sure to shock your systems because nobody is better than the ayatollah of rock and roller the alternative ayatollah of rock and roller nobody is better than the Alpha. Keep it too 